Hi, my name's Eric Golden. Uh, this is Stephen's son. He's our application engineer. Uh, Stephen looks after the repairs and uh, uh, the training on our fusion splicers. We, have, we represent both the Vitel and the Eno product in Canada. Today, uh, there's some confusion about ribbonizing and de-ribbonizing, so I thought we'd take a few minutes and just quickly go over the procedures that we have uh, for ribbonizing, de-ribbonizing. Stephen's had a fair bit of experience on it, so uh, perhaps, Stephen, you want to start off with the de-ribbonizer. This is the Fitel de-ribbonizer, and it's called an S220A, and the procedure is pretty simple on it. It has a small blade on it. Stephen places the fiber in the blade, and he pulls like such, and there you have everything. everything. So, from there, I mean, that's a fairly simple thing, and then from there you can uh, prepare your individual fibers, uh, branch off, do distribution, and so on and so forth. Uh, but basically, that's the procedure for de-ribbonizing. Ribbonizing, on the other hand, is taking single fibers and turning them into a ribbonized cable so that we can splice 12 at a time or splice to a ribbon fiber. So the procedure on this one is, is although it's... Uh, um, very simple. It's also extremely effective. There's a couple of ways that we'll do this one. Stephen will show you two methods to do it. This is the package is called the uh, the Fitel um, S six S six one two B. The package includes uh, Loctite. It's a very fast drying Loctite. We've had a very good success with it. A bag of fifty small clamps. A a pair of cutters, a uh, ruler, uh, pages of instruction, and so on. Typically what happens is you'll buy one bag of the complete package, and then after that all you'll be buying will be just the clamp and the uh, Loctite, of which we sell separately. So uh, when you're ready to buy, just phone Stephen, and Stephen will walk you through the process. And uh, I'd like to focus on these little clips, these kind of very ma it's magic clips. And uh, this area is the just fit for the 12 fiber. And there's two ways to do this. Uh, one is I can tip it on edge of the table and uh, secure the secure the clip and a slide fiber, 12 fiber based on the color code, and use another clip just make sure it's fiber secure and use this also the magic glue and. Uh, the clip itself has a small cup arrangement on it, so on one side it's it's, it's cupping to hold the glue, on the on the bottom side it doesn't have the cup on it, so the the biggest thing is is to make sure that the cup is on the uh, the side that the glue is applied to. And then that cup is can leave in enough, enough space to apply the glue on it. Uh, you just simply apply the glue at each side, one side and another side. And hold the hold the bottom of the fiber and make sure it's a fiber straight, and just pull. So you can slowly. And the glue is just amazing fast, getting dry. So now already dry. You're good to go. One of the yep. Clean and, prep and uh, you're good to go. And uh, I'll like to show you another method. Probably just we call one clip. One click method and uh, let's de ribbonize, make sure this is already de ribbonized. And the clip here, still the same. Did the glue one side, another side, and you can pull down the, the left side. And you like it one, better because two, three, you have more. four, five. And you like it better because you have more control doing it that way? Yeah, so Good. that's, that's a, our ribbonizer. So Stephen just saved you 50% by using one clamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's it. Thank you.